Have you ever wondered how sweet corn is grown from seed to harvest? Well, you're in for a treat. Today we delve into the captivating world of sweet corn cultivation. Corn, a diverse crop, is not only a staple food in numerous cultures, but also finds its purpose in industries ranging from fuel to livestock feed, and even in our beloved popcorn for movie nights. Our journey begins with a tiny kernel, and we will trace its transformation into a robust corn stalk, bearing mouth-watering ears of sweet corn. We'll explore the meticulous process of planting the seeds, nurturing their germination and growth, and ensuring successful pollination and ear formation. We'll watch as the golden kernels ripen, ready for harvest. Our story is a testament to the marvel of nature and the ingenuity of farmers who have honed their skills over generations. So, buckle up for this incredible adventure. Join us as we unveil the fascinating process of growing sweet corn from seed to harvest. The journey of a corn plant begins with a single seed. And so we embark on this journey, taking you through the process of planting corn seeds that will eventually grow into golden ears of sweet corn. The first step in planting corn seeds is preparing the soil. A rich, well-drained soil is ideal for growing corn. You'll want to ensure that your soil is loose and free of rocks and debris. You can enrich the soil by adding organic compost or well-rotted manure. This not only provides the necessary nutrients for the corn to grow, but also improves the soil's structure and its ability to hold water. Now, let's talk about the correct depth and spacing for planting seeds. Corn seeds should be planted about one and a half to two inches deep in the soil. This depth ensures that the seeds are protected from the elements, yet not so deep that they can't break through the soil surface. As for the spacing, aim for about 12 to 15 inches between each seed. This allows each corn plant enough room to grow without competing with its neighbors for sunlight and nutrients. After planting, it's crucial to water the seeds thoroughly. This initiates the germination process, where the seed begins to sprout and grow. However, keep in mind to avoid waterlogging the soil, as it can cause the seeds to rot. The ideal conditions for corn seed germination involve a warm and moist environment. Corn seeds prefer a soil temperature of about 50 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit for optimal growth. So, if you're planting in early spring, you might want to wait until the soil has warmed up sufficiently. Planting corn is an art, a science, and a little bit of luck. It's about understanding the needs of the corn plant, the characteristics of the soil, and the weather conditions, and then bringing all these factors together to create the perfect growing environment. Now that we've planted our seeds, it's time to wait for nature to do its magic. So sit back, relax, and watch as the seeds you've planted transform into lush, green corn plants. The journey has only just begun. As days pass, our seeds begin to sprout and grow. This is a truly magical period in the life cycle of our sweet corn. Underneath the soil, shielded from our eyes, a fantastic transformation is taking place. The hard shell of the seed softens, absorbing water and nutrients from the soil. Inside, the embryo, a miniature corn plant, begins to grow, feeding off the stored energy within the seed. As the seedling starts to grow, it pushes up through the soil in search of sunlight. This is the moment we've been waiting for. The first signs of life, the emergence of the corn plant. It's an exciting time, but also a critical one. Our plants are vulnerable and need our care and attention to thrive. Watering is paramount during this stage, but it's a delicate balance. Too much water can lead to rot and disease, too little and the plant will wither and die. The soil should be kept consistently moist, but never waterlogged. Remember, it's better to water deeply and less frequently, encouraging the roots to grow down into the soil. Sunlight, too, is crucial for our growing corn plants. They thrive in full sun, requiring at least six hours of direct sunlight each day. This is when they photosynthesize, converting sunlight, water and carbon dioxide into the energy they need to grow. But our plants face another challenge. Pests and diseases. Aphids, cutworms and corn earworms are just a few of the pests that love to feast on young corn plants. Fungal diseases can also pose a threat. Regular observation and prompt action are key here. Use organic pesticides and fungicides to protect your plants and remove any diseased plants to prevent the spread. As the days turn into weeks, our corn plants will grow taller and stronger, their leaves unfurling, their roots spreading out into the soil. It's a beautiful sight, a testament to the miracle of nature and the rewards of careful cultivation. Our corn plants are now well on their way to becoming mature corn stalks. 
The journey has only just begun, but with continued care and attention, we can look forward to a bountiful harvest. The next stage in our corn's journey involves a little bit of plant romance. Think of our sweet corn plant as a two-part dating app. The tassel, that fluffy bit at the top, is the male part of the plant, producing pollen grains. This pollen is the plant's equivalent of sperm, needed to fertilize the eggs. The silk, those long, thread-like strands peeking out from the ear of the corn, is the female part of the plant. Each strand of silk is connected to a potential kernel on the cob. So, how does this plant romance work? Well, when the wind blows, it shakes the tassels, causing them to release their pollen. This pollen then rides the wind to land on the silk. Each pollen grain will travel down a strand of silk to the ovule, which, if successfully fertilized, will become a kernel of corn. Now, let's talk about ear formation. After the pollen has done its job, the ear of the corn begins to form. This is where the magic happens, folks. As each ovule gets fertilized, it starts to grow into a kernel. Each of these kernels is a seed that can potentially grow into a new corn plant, given the right conditions. But here's the catch. If the pollen doesn't reach all the silks, not all the kernels will develop. That's why you sometimes see ears of corn with missing kernels. It's all down to whether each silk received its pollen delivery. So, you see successful pollination is a critical stage in corn cultivation. It's a delicate dance between the tassels and the silks, aided by the wind, leading to the formation of those full, juicy ears of corn we all love. And that, my friends, is how pollination and ear formation work in the life cycle of sweet corn. With successful pollination, our corn plants are now ready to produce their sweet, juicy kernels. The final stage in our corn's journey is the most satisfying of all, the harvest. After weeks of nurturing and care, the corn is finally ready to be harvested. But how do you know when the time is right? Well, there's an art to it. Sweet corn should be harvested when the silks are brown but not dried and the husks are still green. The kernels should be plump and milky. This is known as the milk stage, and it's when the corn is at its sweetest and most tender. But don't rush in with a machete just yet. Harvesting corn isn't about brute strength, it's about technique. In fact, you'll want to be gentle to avoid damaging the kernels or the plant. So let's talk about the correct way to pick corn ears. First, you'll want to grab the ear firmly at the base. Then, twist and pull downwards in one swift, smooth motion. This should dislodge the ear without causing any damage. If you're planning to harvest a large amount, a good tip is to bring a basket or a bag with you to avoid dropping any ears on the ground. Remember, sweet corn is best consumed fresh, so try to only harvest what you plan to use immediately. The sugar in the corn begins to convert to starch as soon as it's picked, which can affect the taste and texture. If you do need to store your corn, make sure it's in a cool place to slow down this process. Harvesting corn is a rewarding experience. There's something truly satisfying about seeing the fruits, or in this case, the kernels, of your labor. It's a testament to the care and effort you've put into cultivating your crop. From the initial planting of the seeds, to the careful nurturing during the growth and pollination stages. And there you have it, from seed to harvest, that's how sweet corn is grown. Growing sweet corn might seem like a daunting task, but with the right knowledge, it's quite doable. So, let's take a quick trip back through our journey, shall we? We started our adventure with planting the seeds where we learned about the importance of using the seedling method to ensure uniform growth. We then moved on to the germination and growth stage, where we discovered the power of patience and the significance of providing optimal conditions for our budding plants. Next up was the fascinating process of pollination and ear formation. It's truly a marvel of nature, isn't it? Finally, we got to the most rewarding part of the journey, harvesting the corn. That's the moment when all our hard work and dedication paid off, and we could see, touch, and taste the fruits of our labor. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey from seed to harvest. We hope you've gained a new appreciation for the process of growing sweet corn.